Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We're Saturday, April 29th, 2023, and I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. It's a timeless read. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday. Um, it's been a hectic week, but we're here today. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you know that I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders. It is just energy, okay? So if this is your read, you're going to know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit. Never a good idea, okay? You have to use your higher wisdom and discernment with tarot, okay? We're only here to help guide and enlighten if we're lucky, right? We can't give you the answers you seek. You have those answers within you. Everybody has masculine and feminine within each and every one of us, so... I will use the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. If it's a different uh, gender, just switch it, okay? Know that it is a general read. Not every read's going to be for you. So you have to use your discernment. Please do not shoot the messenger. I cannot contr uh, control the topic of discussion, okay? I'll bring out the tarot card. I'll give you the description of the card as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some are one. And then we bring it together at the end. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you wouldn't mind so you know when I upload. I'm truly grateful you're here. Thank you for helping me grow this channel. Thank you for your beautiful messages, well wishes, your condolences for the last two weeks. I truly appreciate that. Your donations as well. Thank you so very much. You are so kind and supportive. And um, hopefully I can help you through whatever it is that you're going through in return. I love you guys. I truly do. Thank you for being here. Let's start, shall we? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. How are we to begin today's read? Oh, that was quick. Okay, so we have the fire prince, optimism, aggression, 40. Boils down to a four, so that's like the emperor in tarot. tarot. Uh, somebody could be in a position of power. It could be a father. It could be a boss. It could be a female in emperor energy. It just means that you are established. Uh, you're in, possibly in the leadership position. You make uh, good decisions for all involved. Taking back your power, right? Or you could be in power. Um, hmm. Aggression. So maybe somebody out there thinks that they can get what they want through aggression, bullying. That's what I'm picking up. Maybe that's been their M.O. For, you know? It's not working anymore, I'm picking up. Bottom of the deck, the high lord of gratitude and service, selflessness, humility, conscious action, number two. Two is the high priestess in tarot, male or female. That could indicate that there's been some lies and secrets and illusions. Um, maybe you're not talking to this person, I don't know, or they're not talking to you. Take it as applies. You know where you fit in this, okay? Um, could be that you're highly intuitive as well. You have a good balance between your masculine and feminine, your dark and your light. You have a, a direct connection with source. You're all knowing. You don't say much, but you observe. This person that's aggressive, they have that MO, is maybe realizing right now that they need to drop the hubris, show a bit of humility. They have to take some conscious action here. Uh, maybe you're very a selfless person and they've been selfish. Maybe they have to change things up, right? I'm not saying maybe they do. Okay, something like that. So that's the overarching. This is the underlying energy, okay? Um, the well watcher, wisdom, power, the divine, seven. So somebody's trapped in their mind. They could be going to prison or they're they're feeling constrained or something. Something of their own making. You're listening to your higher wisdom with the owl here, okay? You're getting direct downloads. Seven is the chariot and tarot. So you're moving ahead. This con this is awareness. This conscious um, awareness. This is uh, radical acceptance. Bringing back balance to a situation that was unbalanced. Taking accountability, possibly. You're moving forward with something or somebody is, okay? You could be moving, traveling. But it's uh, generally the tab, the chariot. It's um, having the direction, discipline, and structure that you need. Uh, it's generally a card of victory. Not always. It just can mean something as uh, mundane as just moving, right? But um, it's uh, universally driven. The Fire Prince, 40. Why is this here? Add some more clarity to this, please, Spirit. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to break out some, new, some other decks that I've got. I'll try some new decks for um, oracles here. I don't know. We'll see what I got. I got lots of decks, put it that way. And I'm... I, 
I use these ones for some reason. Well, Spirit tells me if it's not broke, don't fix it. <laughs> but let's see what uh, they say. Maybe tomorrow I'll try something new. The Fire Prince 40. Why is this here, for, please? Fire Prince. Somebody's stubborn. Someone's stubborn. Okay. There we go. Addiction. Addicted. 11. So 11 in tarot is, is justice. Mm, it, always, it also boils down to it too, right? So somebody's quite aware, consciously aware. Um, they got to do something here. Yeah. They might, they're chained to something, as you can see the chain. They might think that uh, they're only hurting themselves with this addiction, but I think they're realizing now, now, so many people got hurt because of their addiction, no matter what kind of addiction, okay? It could be any kind. Bottom of the deck, 22, I won't cry for you. 22 is a master number. Adds to a four, again, an emperor, right? Could be a father figure, could be a male, could be a female. Um, 22 is also an indicative of you are right where you need to be. You're on your path or you're beginning your path. You won't cry for somebody, maybe. Maybe you've, you know, you've done what you could. Maybe you tried to mentor them, tried to save them from themselves. And it's just time now. I've got to pull back. Because a lot of times, if we stand in, we, we, we buttress, let's say, we make their lives easier, that's called enabling, and we're just taking on their karma. I won't cry for you. Maybe so much damage has been done, or maybe this is them. Maybe you're saying, enough is enough, I'm pulling out, I'm not going to help you anymore, and they're going, I'm not going to cry for you. Forgetting oneself. So somebody forgot themselves, you or them. 17, that's the star in tarot. As to an eight as well, that's, that's strength and courage. Having integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Somebody forgot themselves. Maybe you got so well, uh, tied up in their own stories that you kind of accrued some of their karma. No more. Seven, the star is healing, bringing back balance. This is also divine protection. Having faith, praying. Maybe you prayed for this person. and There's not much more you can do if they're refusing to stop an addiction. Maybe they're getting aggressive because they you won't help them anymore. You are a wish fulfillment to them possibly because you were helping them financially. You know, blah, blah, blah. Take it as it applies. It could be any of those descriptions. doesn't have to be all of them. It could be any, some or one or none. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. Why is the fire prince here? 40? Okay. 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 Grim Reaper. Relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. And whatever cap capacity this is, okay? I just heard that somebody's feeling guilty that they didn't take a more aggressive stance with somebody. With their addictions. Listen, you can't take the weight of the world on your shoulders, okay? This is their choice. This was what they wanted. You can't make someone change. They have to change from within. So don't take on their guilt and their shame and their pain. That's at their feet. I know it's sad. It's sorry. If there's an addiction, um, usually they're acting out of their disease, talking out of their disease. I don't need help, blah, blah, blah. It's a, it's the disease, right? I get it, right? Photograph, bottom of the deck. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. <laughs> so something's, it's over. A relationship it ended one way or another. And all you've got left is photos, right? But Spirit wants you to know to, when you're looking at these photos, look at them and remember the good, the good memories. <clears throat> Pardon me. And uh, don't blame yourself. You did what you could. Again, you cannot make somebody do somebody they don't want. You can't make someone do something they don't want to do. Healthy choices, bottom of the deck. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. So maybe you partook in some sort of addiction with someone. And now it's over. It's time for you to clean up your act, your life. Do, you know, do what's right for you. Be healthy. Mind, heart, body, spirit, and soul. Spirit doesn't want you ruminating. They don't want you blaming yourself for something that maybe it was ordained. Uh, it doesn't make sense if you lost them. Uh, you know, if you know what I'm saying, um, my condolences. If you lost them in that way, then they, their life was meant to be an, uh, used as an example for others. So they're still doing their work, even if they're gone. Um, 
opening hearts, making people realize through their story they can help others. You can use their story to help others if you know what I'm saying, right? If it's a breakup, if it's a, it doesn't matter if it's love, family, friends, um, it's time to move on from this, okay? Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light, wise of fire, prince, you're 40. Addicted, 11. And the Grim Reaper, why is this here, please? Three cups. So that's ending the party, right? Ending the drinking if it's drinking. Ending the friendships that contributed to it. Parting of ways. It's, it's, you're not happy, I get it. Could be a lot of egregious gossip as well, you know? I know. Um, I don't drink anymore. I used to drink like a fish when I was younger. But it's the stuff that comes out of your mouth and you think about it the next day, you're like, oh my God. I made myself look like a real asshole. I don't want to see those people anymore. But see, it just makes takes you outside of yourself. You say stupid things, you do stupid things. I'm just happy I'm not there anymore. Now, I didn't have a drinking problem, but it could have very well turned into a drinking problem. I'm so grateful. Touch wood. I'm knocking on my head here. <laughs> I don't have an addictive personality. I'm the type of person, if I, say a food. I like a food so much, I'll eat it over. Like I'll, I'll just go nuts eating it. You know what I mean? Until I'll, I'll get so sick of it, I won't touch it again. I'm just that type of person. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, white light. Cars are crazy. Someone's trying to, maybe it's a hidden addiction of a hermit. Or maybe you have to go with them and do that soul work, right? Oopsie. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Wands in reverse. Putting down your burdens. Making a conscious choice here, okay? You're carrying burdens that belong to other people. It's time to put them down. First card up, Eight of Swords, letting it go, let it go. Not occupying your mind anymore. Removing obstacles, removing yourself from this, right? Bottom of the deck, here it could be a relationship, contract. Maybe going to therapy, you're opening up in therapy, letting it all out. <laughs> Therapy is good. It helps you, okay? Um, you need to attack what it is that's making you want to do this addiction or whomever this is, right? Uh, generally, it's it's past traumas, childhood traumas. You need to deal with it. Clearly, you do. I mean, you have to deal with it and get rid of it, right? Because the more that you harbor these feelings within you, the more you're going to want to drink or do whatever drug or, you know, participate in whatever addiction this is. It could be sex, food, whatever. If you don't deal that, if you don't deal with it, right? And the safest way, the best way to do it is through therapy. And a lot of people, I don't need therapy. You don't think you do. We all could use some therapy, even if we're well-rounded. Sometimes we need a sounding board. We need to just let things out, have an impartial person listening to us. They don't give us the answers. Again, like tarot. Therapists won't give you the answers. They lead you to your answers. You're quite skilled at it too, right? Not a swords in reverse. Wow. Okay, so maybe some abuse came through this, an abusive relationship. I mean, when there, whenever there's addictions, typically there is some sort of abuse, financial, physical, mental, emotional, verbal. Eight of swords in reverse and the hierophant in the upright. Here, please. Maybe you have to go to court. Oh. Letting go of a relationship. Letting it all out. King of Wands. This is um, male or female. Somebody generally that's very innovative and they protect and defend. It could be a therapist of some sort. It could be um, a partner you're dealing with. This could be you. This is somebody that's very fearless. Um, they're very creative. Um, they're noble. They have morals and ethics. A salamander indicates that it could be a spiritual leader of some sort too, right? The Hierophant. They're going to help you. They want to help you. Not that um, 
they get anything out of it, but they could be in service to the divine and service to people. Um, that That's their nature, right? They're going to stand up and defend you, protect you, but you got to do the work. All right. Yeah. Knight of uh, Pentacles. It's going to take a while. You got to take ownership. Knight of Pentacles. They could be coming in with an offer. Are you coming in with an offer? This could be you, like I said, male or female, doesn't matter. Could be a long time commitment, maybe, if this is a relationship or a family or a friend. Uh, got to take responsibility, okay? Do the right thing, I heard. Chariot, because it's not going anywhere. It's going to stop. Yeah, somebody's out of control. So somebody's figuring, listen, I got to, I got to, some, somebody's got to stop doing whatever this is, right? It's out of control. They don't want to take accountability. They're going to have to one way or another, right? They're going to have to be answer, answerable to you, your community, your relationships, your family, and courts possibly, and or the divine. At the end of the day, when all is said and done, we are answerable to someone. Yeah, three of wands. Taking ownership. Somebody's turning their backs on whoever this is. That's got the addition, I think. It's three of wands. Moving forward here with something. Maybe they're planning an intervention of some sort. I don't know. Justice. There we go. It could be an intervention. Or is somebody turning their backs on somebody that... This is a long time coming, right? Um, this has been going on for a while. This is justice here that people are now turning their backs on this person. Enough is enough. And or they're doing an intervention of some sort. King of Swords. This is somebody that lies constantly, right? It could be a narcissist. But they're abusive. In one way or another. Or maybe the justice system is... Uh, you know, caught up with this person. Take it as supplies. This could be somebody in the justice system that does have a heart, uh, that deals with addictions, has seen it multiple times, and they're going, listen, you got to own up. You got to do something here, right? Or maybe this is, if it is a loss, loss, if you know what I'm saying, this is you. You're going to do the noble thing. You're going to use this story, right? You're making plans here. Maybe you're going to go travel the world to bring justice to a situation. Um, honor that person that's gone. Yes, they went down the wrong road, but it doesn't mean that you can't give them back their dignity uh, by speaking their story. You know, when you hide stuff like that, that person... People don't want to talk about that person, right? And um, it's kind of a shame because by talking about them, making them real, their struggles, their 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 celebrations, you're making them real that they're still with us. You know what I'm saying? And you can help so many people by being f open and frank about it, right? Justice, justice here, bringing back balance, right? It's karma. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Having integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Male or female. Stability here. Working on your stability. Nurturing and healing and loving. So if the person's not gone, gone. These people are around. Maybe these are the people that this addi um, addict was dealing with. Eight of Wands in reverse, and it's stopped now. Stopping the money flow, stopping the, uh, you know, the the nurturing, blah blah blah. Now it's time to turn your back and say enough, so somebody can learn some lessons and accrue their karma. Okay, not that they want you to hurt and blah blah blah. Hit the, you know, but you can't learn your lessons un unless you learn them, unless you experience them. If somebody takes those lessons away, what are you going to learn? You can, you're going to keep continuing in the same vein. Right? So we have the eight of wands. So something backfired, something stopped suddenly, stopped talking to someone immediately, like suddenly, no communication. Somebody's unstable. Maybe they're homeless. Sometimes some uh, people have to hit rock bottom. I mean, real rock bottom in order to learn. It's the only way up, right? It's called tough love sometimes. Some people don't agree with it. Well, that's your opinion. Right? Sometimes when you've tried everything, you, out of a loving space, you've tried everything. Sometimes you got to go this route, right? To save a life. Eight of Wands in reverse. As this is the collective, thank you. Taking action, taking back power. Yeah. It's 
new beginnings here, making a decision. So somebody's hit rock bottom, I think. People have turned their backs on them. They're, ma they're making a decision, two of wands. They're at a crossroads. What am I going to do? Should I live and die this way? Or should I actually get clean? Should I do something about this? Help myself and move forward. Future is bright. The future is full of possibilities. But where you are right now, if you are the addict... Um, it's bleak, right? So you, you got to take control of yourself. The power, only you have the power to do this. Nobody else, right? High Priestess in reverse. Unwise counsel. You didn't go, maybe you didn't want to go to therapy in the past, right? Secrets are coming out possibly. Lack of awareness. Didn't you use your intuition? Maybe you were doing some smack tacking or they were, you know, you know where you fit in this, right? Maybe, I don't know. You're addicted to magic and you're addicted to going to the crossroads and doing dark magic on people. Take it as a blast. I mean, that could be an addiction as well. I didn't, it's not going to work out well, well, right? Ace of Wands in the upright, two of Wands in the upright. Why is this here? So Ace and two, that's the three of Wands, right? You're at, the, yeah, Queen of Cups. You need to open your heart space. This could be a mother figure you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, it could be male or female. But this is somebody that's very intuitive, very loving sweet and kind maybe this person is sweet and kind on on a you know regular basis but they invested in something they shouldn't have so this could be other people here the king of wands in the upright the queen of pentacles in the upright and the queen of cups people dealing with this person that has addictions they lost a lot of money dealing with this person right it's the end of the road you can't go any further could be a mother that had addictions. Sweet and kind and loving, but went down the wrong road, right? It's the end of the road. You get what you give. Poor investment. Might need to relocate here. They need, they need to work on themselves, okay? Master this. You can do it. You, it's going to be some work. You have to put the effort in, right? going to take some work. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this here, please? Nothing can grow from this anymore. Oh, it could be um, an arrest of some sort. Hangman in reverse. Illumination. Letting go and surrendering. Letting go and letting God. You, this person could have been cut off by these three people. Or it could be a court setting or something. And they're having, um, they're acting like a martyr maybe. They are in control. You see this person's holding this this rope. They can let this go at any moment. They're in control. Surrender, okay? Stop wasting time, energy, maybe possibly your life, right? Any more money. So maybe these people have let, let this person go, let's say. Yeah. There's awareness, though. could be, um, if you're going to rehab, it's going to be, you know, confinement. Maybe this person's gone to confinement before. I don't know. Rehab, it didn't work. Eight of Cups, yeah, they went back to whatever it is they were addicted to. Acting like they're happy, but they're not. Eight of Cups in reverse. Those Cups in reverse. There's no love. There's no fulfillment here. They don't, they're digging in their heels, possibly. They don't want to move on. But they're going to have to. Maybe they're digging in their heels. It could be a tussle or something. I don't want to go. It could be an intervention. But you got to take uh, accountability. you got to take control of the situation. This is universally led. So if they got arrested, it's a good thing. Okay? It is a good thing. It might not feel like it. Right? You can't walk away if you're arrested. Or if you're family or whomever this is went to court we saw the hierophant and um asked for an order I, I don't know what you call it but for your own safety to, to put you away somewhere it's a good thing it doesn't feel like it right now but it's going to save a life possibly hangman in the reverse eight of cups in reverse there's no it could be drinking here cups are there right devil seeing through the illusions you're breaking free from this toxic situation from this addiction you need to or whomever this is needs to. Bring back balance, right? To get healed. To get balanced. 
get healthy again. Wouldn't you want to be happy instead of worrying about your next fix or your next drink and wor worrying where where your money's going to go, you know, where it come from, you have to work, you know, depends on what this is, but everybody's story is different, but when you want to be free of it, yeah, yeah, they kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior, didn't want to learn a lesson here, it's not a victory, it's come back to bite them in the ass, so maybe this is a court order, you know, stop the drinking, stop the drugs, whatever, we'll let you out on probation, whatever this is, on bail, but maybe this isn't a surety. And mother's going, you know what? They didn't stop. Let's pull it. Here in Canada, it's called an surety, but I don't know elsewhere. But it's like um, somebody vouches for you, somebody close to you. You have to live with that person, though. You have to be in their home where they kind of monitor you. And if you go astray, well, they can go to the courts and say they're not listening. They're not uh, sticking to the rules. And I don't want, because if the person doesn't stick to the rules and the surety is responsible, it's kind of like co signing. That person loses money. That person's in trouble. So, yeah. So they keep wanting to do this over and over again. They don't have a choice, I don't think, right? Two of Pentacles making a decision. Yeah. They're weighing their, they're weighing their options here. Ahead of a hard decision. They gotta, they gotta bring balance back. This is not happy. They're not happy about this Five of Swords. Okay. This person, maybe the person that's um, got the. The addition is going to hold a grudge. Maybe they're, they're weighing their options. So, well, if I turn them in, if I blah, 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 they're going to hold a grudge against me. But you have to put your past hurts behind you. Five of Swords in reverse. That also means that too. Okay? You need balance here. Yeah, just, somebody lied. Okay, there's no clarity. There's, no, there, there's lies here. So this person maybe is aggressive in the household as well. Fire prints, right? Uh, as we saw in the beginning. So, so this person's been lying. So the decision's been made. Truth is out. This person's unhealed. They're unawakened. It's time to do something about it. They're going to kick him out of the home, possibly. Um, it's just, uh, bringing instability into a home, possibly. Right? So some, something's got to happen here. Ace of Swords in reverse. Hermit in reverse. Four wands in reverse. If it's a partner, then yeah, it's going to be a breakup, right? Six of swords, moving on. Spiritual protection. Um, going to a better place. Maybe set a distance. You have to go to a rehab or something. Or if it's uh, any kind of lockup, prison, jail, whatever. It's going to save your life. Yeah. Somebody's very emotional. Moon in the upright. There were a lot of lies and illusions. Maybe somebody's on the run. <sighs> Scared. Is this fear of the moon in the upright? Maybe this person's realizing they've only been lying to themselves here. Six of Pentacles. Bringing in instability. Breadcrumbing. Using, abusing. Fraud. Theft. Very unstable. Could be in debt. Owing many... Maybe this person owes drug dealers, something like that. So they're on the run. They're fearful. Maybe the family's feel fearful, you know? So they lied. They were still doing drugs, possibly. The truth's come out. They don't want to lose their, their home, their stability. Uh, if they're in debt, there's six of pentacles in reverse again. If they're in debt to drug users, the whole family's in fear now. Somebody's coming to collect, possibly, you know? It's being ag aggressive, too. Page of swords, lies. Right? Sabotage. Self-sabotage in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. Somebody's petty and cruel. So somebody's assessing a situation. Maybe this person's going somewhere to be assessed. There's going to be some communication coming through. Somebody's going to be standing in their power. They're not going to give in this time. Page of Swords in reverse. So it could be a child because it's a page. It doesn't have to be. Just very childlike in nature. Artist, forgive me. I gotta like get the book here. These, these, the, the, in this deck, there's two extra major arcana, and I'm not quite familiar with it. It's artist here, 23. Um, the artist is the vessel of creation. This card signifies humankind and shows when you need to open that, open to the knowledge that is available if you stop and set aside the distractions of the human condition and listen. So, somebody's listening here. The family or the relationship, or the, the partner. It's upright, so visionary, interpreter, 
creation and passion. So somebody might have creative, they might be an artist of some sort, um, whether it's art, poetry, writing, uh, music, uh, acting. They're sabot sabotaging their career and are they're very creative, obviously. Um, maybe you're dealing with some sort of leader here um, that's going to help this person that can interpret all of this for this person. King of Swords speaking some truths here. This is a professional you're going to be dealing with. Okay, so you, this person is going to be dealing with this professional, Five of Swords. And there's no, yeah, putting their past hurts behind them. So it's some sort of therapist of some sort. You got to speak some truth, so, okay? You have to be 100% honest. Whoa. Yep, Four Swords. This is going to be healing. Four Swords. It's going to take some time. This is contemplating, right? Healing. Praying, even. Could, could be somebody, you know, that's... Doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying. It's healing. It's going to take a long time, but it's worth it. The star could be somebody out in the public eye. This is healing again. Two healing cards. It's for the best, I heard. This is divine protection, healing, balance, faith, prayer, faith, right? Bringing your belief systems back and being able to put down your burdens that other people placed on your back. So this could be the family and or the addict. I hate to say addict, but yeah, this is a new beginning. Put down your burdens. Start over, you know? So this person, there's somebody loyal here. Guiding them, I think. They're maybe starting new somewhere else. They're taking very little with them. Just the good memories, okay? They're under the universe's umbrella. So they're being very guided and protected. This is exciting. If you look at things like a child would, with you know the eyes of a child, and that's the way that the divine wants us to live, but like as children in our hearts. Take every experience and, and try to see the wonder in it. Look at it with curious eyes and see what you can get from it. And it would go by so much easier. There's innocence here, okay? So it could be let go of um, the worries of the past when you were a child. Find your, your, your self-worth and your value. Take this opportunity. Seize this chance. Maybe it's been given to you before or this person was offered this chance before and they ignored it, right? This could be a, somebody that didn't want to put the work in. They were lazy and disrespectful. They didn't want to put the work in. Now that this person might be on their own, feeling alone, they want the help now, right? Or take it as it lies. Yeah, six of wands. This is victory, success, reward, recognition. This is going to be successful, okay? So whatever you're going to do here, the, there's two scenarios that just, if you did lose somebody, and again, my condolences, whatever you choose to do with their story, it's going to be successful. It's going to be out in the public eye. Maybe write a book. Maybe tell, maybe you're going to be a speaker, you know, and tell the story. Maybe for families that are in that situation, but it's going to be successful. If not, then this person going into rehab or going into this um, line of therapy, maybe something totally different. I don't know, but it's going to be successful. Six of Wands, how is this going to end, please, Spirit Guides? Guardian Angels, Ancestors of the White Light. It's conflict, though. Inner conflict, I think. You're going to be successful in dealing with the inner conflict. And or the conflict of the friends or, you know, like, um, talking shit. Yeah. Who cares? Maybe if this is, if you're the one with the addiction... You're going to come out on top and maybe the people that you were doing um, drugs and or drinking with and or whatever this is, they're going to try to, you know, play with you. Maybe you're out in the public eye and say, well, I remember when this person did that. You know what I mean, right? All I can say is just get a lawyer, send out some cease and desist letters because you're no longer that person. You're no longer the person that you were five minutes ago. We're all elevating at least we should. If you're still the same person you were a year ago, then you have to reevaluate, reevaluate things. You know, okay, well, we're supposed to be elevating, right? And that's not a bad thing. 
and just, you know, so we shouldn't be stagnant. Five of Wands. So these people are all wanting a piece of you, maybe. You're moving forward anyways. They have to take control of their own life. This is universally led. So don't let these naysayers, right? They're being disrespectful. They don't want this to work for you. But too bad. Leave them behind. Chariot, you're moving on just to, uh, to victory, okay? It's beautiful. You have your directions. You're, you're structured and disciplined, or you will be. Queen of Wands. And they're jealous. That's all it is, and you know it. It's all jealousy. You see it for what it is, right? Or maybe this was in the past. Maybe you fought a lot out of jealousy and stuff, but you conquered this. Seeing the truth, speaking some truths, letting it all go. Yeah. Letting it all go, releasing it all. Four pentacles in reverse. You're not attached to this anymore, or you won't be. Right? Making that decision using your higher wisdom. Maybe it's a past relationship. Take it as applies. Um, or maybe you're going to be going into a new relationship, a higher level soulmate uh, connection. People are seeing through the illusions, okay? All that glitters is not gold. Maybe that's what you're seeing now, this party life, whatever. It's, 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 not, it's not life. It's all illusion. That's all it is. It's bullshit. It's, it's meant to take you off your path, whatever path that should be. It's meant to waste your time here on earth where, where you should and could be doing what, getting on your path, doing what makes you passionate and happy and bringing all, everything you deserve, everything good, love, money, wealth, stability, purpose, you know, good health. That's all it's meant to do, all these addictions and all these people who are stuck in their addictions and in their path or in their past, right? Yeah, you, you're, this is success. Wow. So maybe you're going to find that special love while working on yourself. Maybe that you both have the same experience. But this is um, putting in that work, mastering yourself, mastering your craft. It's beautiful. Ending the drinking here, right? Ending the, the insincerity, putting in that work, ending the uh, temporary hookups, whatever this was in the past. You're mastering it here. You're working hard to, in order to, uh, to bring this about. Um, Page of Pentacles, a new beginning. Wow. So somebody might be coming in. They see how much work you've put in. They're coming in with an offer. Not a wands. They're taking action towards you. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. I'm going to leave it there. Ooh, I got chills. So maybe you're already doing this work based on the past and somebody's noticing your worth. This could be past, present, or future. Just bear that in mind. Um, and they see they see how well you've mastered this and they're coming in with an offer. It's a new beginning here. Very practical. Starting off small. Get to know one another. The fire prince. Optimism. Keep optimistic. Um, you could have been dealing with aggression. You could have been aggressive in the past, but you've learned to master yourself and, or you've learned to deal with this person. There was addictions here. Obviously this is, um, justice 11. Okay. Bringing justice to a situation, the grim reaper, the relationship's over. No second chances grow and transform your life and whatever capacity this is. Okay. You cannot go back to the past here. Okay. High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action to High Priestess. There were secrets, lies possibly. You're going within, I think. Uh, highly intuitive. You have to balance yourself in all areas. Masculine and feminine, dark and light. Connect with the divine. Maybe you're no longer talking to this person. You're refusing to. You could go multiple ways here. Somebody has to drop their hubris. They have to come from a place of humility and selflessness. Not greed, not, um, you know what I mean? Maybe they've learned this now. It seems like their crown chakra is open. You or whomever you're dealing with, right? I won't cry for you. You're on your path or you're getting on your path. 22, four, could be an emperor. Okay. Male or female doesn't matter. You've got the experience now. You've got the clout. You're, you're, you're putting in the work. You're on your path. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia and make new memories. The old photos do stir up feelings, right? Um, could be somebody that's passed on, and again, I'm very sorry for your loss. 
but use those memories to do good. Don't let it hurt you. Don't let it. Uh, don't let it yourself beat yourself up over stuff that you coulda, woulda, shoulda. You know what I mean? Everything is as it should. Basically, we have uh, the the path is here. So if it is a loss, it was meant. This person chose this life. Uh, chose to go down this road. Um, to do good. One maybe one life is gone, but you're gonna save multiple. If they're not gone, then yeah, it's sad. They or you are uh, looking back at the past. But use that sadness for fuel to transmute those energies to good. Use it to heal yourselves, others. That's how you heal. Angels, where are we ending the read, please, for the collective? What is the parting message here, please? Maybe you're done crying. If this is a relationship, you're done crying for this person. Five of Swords. It's an empty victory. 62. Somebody went all out. Maybe you had a past addiction and they used it against you. That's another way of looking at it, at this too. So you could be on your path right now, doing good, and they're trying to use it against you. But it's an empty victory. Five of Swords. Yeah, hell, 62. You have integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Strength and courage. You're resilient. God, the highest being. Desire to know. The acquisition of wisdom. How did you do this? How did you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Seven of Swords, they were lying, cheating, and or stealing. Manichael, 66, as to 12. They're stuck now, struggling, possibly. They don't want to let go of you, possible. Good, uh, God naturing and maintaining everything. Knowledge of good and evil appeases divine anger and cures epilepsy. So you, you, we did see the high priestess. You were well aware of what was going on here. Maybe in the past you did party a little too much. I'm going to use that against you. Maybe they're the ones with the addiction, but they placed it on you. It could go very different ways. And or you're using your intuition now to do be better here. It was a loss, maybe, of a relationship or a person. And you're using this. To, yeah. Maybe um, you're going to help families or other people in the future. Maybe you barely got away with your life, if you know, in the past. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, success, achievement. 68, that adds to 14. That's temperance, angel. You're, this is bringing back balance, healing. Okay, healing to the world, I just heard. Transmute, what did I just say? Transmuting the dark energy, right? Bringing it, using that for, for healing. God, the kindest giver. Healing preserves health and cures diseases. And what's an addiction? It's a disease, right? King of Cups. Could be a father figure. Doesn't have to be. Could be a female in King of Cups. Energy just means that you feel very deeply. Um, you give good advice. 69, 15. There was addictions here for sure. Obsessions. God seeing everything. Something very toxic. Restitution. Finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. So somebody had a hidden addic addiction. Try to make your life a uh, uh, hell, maybe. Uh, two pentacles. Bringing back balance. Making a decision. Poyal. 56. That's justice in tarot. God who supports the universe. You could have a platform here. She has a basket full of um, fruit. It can, reminds me of the Horn of Plenty, right? You could have a platform, and that's how you're healing the world here. Fortune and fame fulfills any request. So you, something is going to come. Something beautiful is going to come out of this sun. That's the divine. That's happiness. Extreme happiness. I can't make this up. Sixty-four. That's a ten in tarot. That is your destiny. You needed to go through this in order to propel you where you needed to go. It's change. The vivifying God. Restoration of life. Protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Congratulations. You're going to stand in your power here. Male or female. Independent for um, emperor. You might be um, the hidden god. That's divine power. Guards against mental troubles. They could have said you were mentally ill now. Oh, doing all the drugs, doing all the drinking. Doing, I don't know. Through this, you might be meeting your, your um, true partner. Okay. Gonna be working together, raising the vibrations. It's beautiful. How are we ending the street, please, Spirit? It's a Spartan word for this clue. Round and round, no more. It's over. Twenty-five. That's seven. It's come to a full stop. Out of control. Somebody didn't want to take responsibility. It's it's somebody stopping it now. 
Okay? Draw the distance is justice here. They might be going through the justice system, and that's going to save their life. Okay? Draw the distance. It's beautiful. TikTok. No time to wait here. No no longer waiting. 30. Could be a, a, a mother figure, an empress in reverse. Somebody that's very uh, possessive and self-absorbed and chaotic. It doesn't have to be a mother. It could be a, a male in that energy. I'm just saying, right? Round and round. 25 in reverse. I'm getting a lot of different energy today. So I think there's a lot of us out there that can relate to certain parts to this. Okay, so I apologize. It's kind of sounds all over the place but if this is your story it's going to resonate so i'll just read the protection message uh, are you refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn you have to surrender now to the fact that you are the common denominator in all of these repeat performances be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in you can now see the cycles that you wish to exit once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round you possess the key to your freedom be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. So stop the blame, the self-blame, the you know, blaming of others if that's the situation. Stop the shame. You're human. We all are and we have all screwed up. And for those that are pointing fingers, shame on you. Remember, one finger pointing. If you're pointing your finger at somebody, three more are pointing back at you. Okay, so stop it. Go the distance, endurance, strength, the long haul. To bring your dream to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. So if you fall off the wagon, get back on it, okay? Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself. Your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will never be withheld from you. So remember that. Congratulations, okay? You need to put the work in now, okay? Eight of Pentacles, we saw that. It's going to be hard work. But as long as you do that work, that inner and outer work, you can't go wrong. The divine shall, shall um, provide for you. Uh, you get on the path that you're, you're, you're bound to be on you know, you're supposed to be on, uh, that spirit does the rest for you. You just go halfway, they'll, they'll meet you there. Okay. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.